Hey there, it's Mark Dickens with a quick tutorial on HoneyBook. Uh, I'm a pretty new user to HoneyBook and I just wanted to come in and share a little bit of uh, my experience with it in the first uh, few weeks of it, or week of it actually. And I really enjoy it. I really like it. It's a great service to do. I recommend it. I wish they had some coupon codes. I would spam them out there and hopefully get you guys to sign up because it is really an awesome service. Uh, so even without that, it should show a little bit more um, uh, of how much I like it because I don't, I don't get anything for doing this. And one of the quick things that I want to go over today in HoneyBook is keeping people on your website. HoneyBook is great for automation. It's great for getting people to log into their system and doing uh, contracts really easy, making payments. I want to make sure that everybody's keeping traffic to their website and also doing uh, SEO benefits to them by keeping people on their, on their website. And one of those ways to do is, is I don't send brochures. It's a good thing to have because I don't send them initially. I do send them uh, subsequently after they do, are ready to book. But the thing that I do is on my websites there I have um, all of my price list I have all of my uh, information that I want to give to people that uh, maybe some of you don't want to give it out there freely and have it linked everywhere well that's easy to do just don't link it and you can also create a nofollow link and turn that particular page off to Google so it doesn't crawl it and search it and that's gonna be your best method if you don't want your price list out there for everybody to see you know in lieu of putting a password on it and doing all that then you know that's gonna be your method it's easy to do um, but the reason why I do that is because I want to keep people on my website, boost my traffic up, and I'll show you exactly why. I've already done a Google search for my website, and you can see that my investment, first blog, anniversary, and published locations. So once people come to my website, that's the first thing that they look for. They look for that and contact me. Um, you can see when you go to more results for that, it shows a lot of the results right there. Blog, referrals, uh, follower Instagram, uh, the main page, the pricing, uh, first blog. Again, I don't know why that's in there. Meet us, hiring a destination photographer and then some of the more popular um, uh, web pages in there. And that's, Google really does, I believe, no one really knows because it's a mystery, but the more traffic you have on a particular page, it will create these um, site links for you. And that's gonna be your most popular because Google's trying to make it easy for, for their users to find a website, find the relevant information that they need. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna jump into uh, HoneyBook and show you exactly why I do it and where I do it. So in HoneyBook, you're gonna log in, make sure you're in there jump into your pipeline. I've already got it set up in here so that you can see it. So if you're familiar with it, pipeline's right there. You click it, find an, an event that you want to look at, or even just create a new event to try this out. Again, with the links, I want to make sure everybody's on our website. So when I share my wedding price list, I drag it and drop it right from the um, my address bar up here. And I'm using Chrome. Chrome, uh, Firefox, and, and Edge, I believe, have the same similar address bar where it sits up here, and you can drag and drop right into the websites for it. So let me um, let me do another one here for you real quick. I'm gonna bring that one down in my lifestyle portrait packet list. We got that. And let me put it right next to it. So we're gonna put it right in there if I can do it right. And then I'm gonna put another one in of, uh, let me find one here, one of our blogs. Let me find this blog and put it in, drag it in, it's in. And the reason why I do it this way is because I get these nice links that are here where it shows the uh, the, the description of it versus the the full entire link like if you add an insert link here which hopefully they'll fix uh, so that you can do combination of both put a, uh, a link in with uh, the URL description in there but if you put it in through that you're gonna get the full entire length and there's no way unless you can put code in here and I haven't tried that yet but you might be able to put uh, a tag in there and, and it will work but I haven't tried that so with that, you can save all of your bookmarks that you commonly use that when you send to clients and couples that, uh, that you can drag and drop right into your, uh, into your message there. And obviously, I'm just doing this in here in the, in the pipeline so you can see it. Uh, you can save these in as a, as a template too. Same thing applies, and they will save and link in here. Now, the reason why you want to do this is because of that sending them back to your um, website is going to give you more traffic. It's going to keep your traffic flowing, and it's also going to give you uh, a bump in SEO. So when you are sending your initial email, and if you do this, where you send the proposal right away after they inquire and you are having bookings, keep doing what you're doing. This isn't always a better method for everybody. Uh, both ways are not right or wrong. They can actually be good in both ways. And uh, But just this way for me works a lot better because I do see an increase in traffic no matter when I do this from my email. I get them there and then they start going around and start moving around the website looking for more and, and my booking rate is pretty high from that. The traffic is what I want. I want to keep that there because then next year I have some uh, um, substance to, to show for Google and they're going to keep me up on the top of the rank there, or really close to it at least. So when you're doing that, if you don't know how to add bookmarks, it's going to be really easy. Let's go to a website. Well, let's go to HoneyBook right here. We're going to add this one. 
um, you're going to click this star up at the, in the address bar right here to add a bookmark and make sure that you if you are using plan on using it for uh, drag and drop like I'm doing make sure it's on the bookmark bar and then we'll just type it in as I don't know um, booking it was under booking book me but now it's under booking and you can see that it's right there and you can drag it drag it in and put it that didn't minimize and put it in right in your message there so let's grab booking there it goes it's in and again, this is going to be helping you out here to keep in traffic on your site. If you do brochures and you send it right away after that, feel free to keep doing that. But this is just an alternative way, one, to keep traffic on there and also two, to um, insert links in there. So guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for taking a look at the video. If you'd like to see something else around HoneyBooks, I learn from doing and learn from teaching. And it helps me out and it'll help you out as well. I'll go through and run through some of the troubleshooting steps to get to something done if you need that there. So I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. If you want to leave a comment in the section below, leave that there so that you can uh, let me know what type of tutorial you'd like to see. And also give me a thumbs up if this helped you. If you didn't like it, let me know why. I want to see what, uh, what I can do to make it better. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.